Hey guys, this is Mr. Green. In this lesson, we're going to look at augmented matrices. An augmented matrix contains the coefficients and the constants from a system of equations. For example, for this system of equations that you see, we can write the following augmented matrix. We write the coefficients of x in the first column, the coefficients of y in the second column, and the constants in the third column. We separate the coefficients and the constants with a vertical bar. That takes the place of the equal signs in the equations. Now to solve a system of equations with an augmented matrix, we can use what are called row operations. There are four of them that we can use. We can switch any two rows. We can multiply a row by a constant. We can add one row to another or we can combine one or more of these steps. We're going to use these row operations to solve the system of equations that we had in the first example. Remember, this is the augmented matrix. And the first row operation I'm going to use is to switch the rows. So I'm going to switch row 1 and row 2. Here's what the new row or the new augmented matrix will look like. I'll have 4, 0, negative 20 for row 1 and negative 6, 2, 10 for row 2. Next I'm going to multiply row 1 by 1 fourth. So the new augmented matrix will be 1, 0, negative 5, negative 6, 2, 10. My next row operation is going to be to multiply row 1 by 6 and add it to row 2. That'll give me 0, 2, negative 20 for my new row 2. And row 1 stays the same. Now to finish things off, I'm going to multiply row 2 by 1 half. Take some time to do that right now and write the new augmented matrix and hit the continue button when you're ready to move on. Alright, welcome back. Here's what your augmented matrix should look like. The new row 2 should be 0, 1, negative 10. So the solution for this system of equations is the ordered pair negative 5, negative 10. Great job solving that system with me. Now to wrap things up, let's talk about some special situations that come up when using augmented matrices to solve systems of equations. The first one is where you have zeros in the coefficient part of a row and another number in the constant part. Zero does not equal seven, so we could say that a system like this would have no solution. Another special situation is when you have all zeros in a row. Zero equals zero, so for a system like this, you could have, you could say it has infinitely many solutions. Look out for these special situations when you're solving systems using augmented matrices. Well, this wraps up the lesson. Great job and good luck on the rest of your homework, and you can get more Algebra 2 help by signing up for Nutshell Math. I'll see you around.